This is my Chuckwalla Shakira. Look at how beautiful that animal is. Chuckwallas are amazing because they get pretty big. They got this beautiful kind of dark color and then that absolutely incredible tail. And I always say that I'm surrounded by animals that are absolutely breathtaking. And I can't even count how many times I've told you guys that I've added a dream animal to our collection. I mean, I look around the Reptarium and even at BHB often and I just am absolutely in awe of the animals. That one day I thought I would never own and now to be able to work with them on a daily basis is absolutely amazing. And then there's even animals that we've added to the collection like the Sudan plated lizards that I really never thought that I would get. I always thought they were really interesting but I never thought like oh I need Sudan plated lizards. But now that I'm working with them they are ridiculous. I mean absolutely crazy. Animals. I mean when you think of like a dinosaur with this crazy kind of keeled scale this is what you think of and they are absolutely amazing. I mean just look at it. They might be a little hyper when you first take them out but once you get them out they are incredible. Hardly anyone is breeding these guys so hopefully in the future we can figure out how to actually breed them because captive born plated lizards would be ridiculous. In my life I've had tons of ups and downs. Obviously we have some challenges ahead but the one thing that has always been constant in my life is my animals and my love of them. They've always kept me happy no matter what's going on. The anticipation of the breeding season is another thing that I'm just really excited about looking forward to because you never know what's going to happen. And I'm going to do something fun right now. I haven't ultrasounded even one female down here so I have no idea where the breeding season is as far as follicle growth. So we're going to just pull this which is a pastel clown that's actually bred to a pastel lesser leopard clown male. So we could get some really cool babies. Let's just see what kind of follicles she has. Right there, you can see the follicles in there. They're not huge. This time of year, I'd like to see a little bit bigger ones, but again, I'm just picking one random female. So we're just gonna go ahead and measure these out really quick. And we're at 12 millimeters. 12 millimeters is in the first stage. Typically over the next month or two, they'll go from 12 to maybe 18, 20 millimeters. They're actually gonna produce, but I have hundreds of females I'm gonna have to ultrasound. I just wanted to share the very first ultrasound with you. And I'm excited to see what's going to produce, what eggs are going to be laid, and then ultimately what eggs hatch. And even the next girl over is completely different. Pastel Bongo Lesser, head for clown. And it's bred to a banana Leo clown. And look at how big these follicles are right here. Every single one's going to be a little bit different. These follicles are 25 millimeters. Typically they go off food at about 20 millimeters. So I have to get down here and ultrasound all these females so we can find which out which females we should continue to push food to and which females we can back off of food on. My animals have always always been something that I've absolutely loved and been obsessed with, but they've also been an absolutely incredible distraction. I never thought that I would own a two-headed snake like Ben and Jerry. Again, another dream animal. Even when I was younger and I would have a bad day for whatever reason it is, the one thing I used to always do is go pet shop hopping. I haven't done it in a while. What do you say we hit the road and check a couple pet shops out? Well, the first shop we came to is Aquarium Shine in Rochester and uh, they're closed. So let's hit another. And although we struck out on the first pet shop, I actually uh, picked up a hitchhiker. When we were younger, remember, we, yeah, I mean, we worked at a pet shop together, ironically enough, but we used to go pet shopping every now and then and visit some pet shops. So it's like old times, you know, it's a, it's a good way. It's a beautiful day outside. We're off to the next pet shop. Hopefully they'll be open. I actually used to come to this place like 20 years ago. We've been a few times before, but it's literally been like 20 years. I was actually thinking about doing a pet shop review on this place because we're just out trying to distract ourselves. We're just going to go in and take a look. This is pretty cool. Matter of fact, my first pet shop that both of us worked at, Pet Vendor, the guy that owned that pet shop for like 30 years actually worked here. I don't know if he still works here, but after he closed down, he actually worked here. So let's go see. <laughs> no, I, I've never seen this one though, it's Glowfish Garb. I didn't know they had Glowfish Barbs. I literally was just in the door like two seconds and we got, remember we had guppies. Like, yeah, yeah, I had tons of fancy guppies. Yeah. Oh, now I can see. They're already freaking awesome. Oh, they got some koi. So it's really interesting, these Glowfish. I mean, I don't know enough about fish to know, but they're obviously now using this GM process in other types of fish because you obviously have these are like the more classical glow fish here but you obviously have like these fish here which is a completely different species it's really cool you know we got obviously goldfish down here again this place is like legendary oh the, again I don't even know some these are albino platinum white fancy guppies I didn't even know they had that type of stuff speaking of uh, platinum I'm actually maybe picking up some platinum gars here in the next couple weeks from Ohio Fish Rescue I'm really excited about that all right look at the grommy behind the tube <laughs> <laughs> it's inside joke. <laughs> Where'd Lori go? There you are. Maybe I should get something for the tank on my desk. <laughs> the tank on your desk? I thought. I don't know. They're That's cute. Kind of 
Panda Corys? Wow, those are cool. I wonder how Lori's big they Panda Cory. That is super cute. Do you want to get some? Yeah, I should probably get like a whole a school of them. School, yes. That's get what a they school are. of a them. School. school of Panda Corys. I would be down with it, that's for sure. They are super that cool. That and one dull eye pleco. Sounds like an insult. <laughs> yeah, <I laughs> hey, you little dull eye pleco. <laughs> Take a look at these. These call They call these feather dusters, but also look at the clown. I've got to get some clowns like that that are just black and white like that. It's almost like the Perdita black and white. I like those. Do you like those, Larry? I do, but I like the ones we have. You're gonna make them feel bad. Not to mention, you know, they seem to be paired off, so I don't want to put anything else in there and destroy the relationship. Look, they have starfish. This one seems and to be missing a leg. And Some of them, these have a mission. <laughs> Meat coral. Meat coral. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy. Yeah, it's a cleaner shrimp. <laughs> the shrimp. That's yeah, cleaner shrimp. Got oh, the little goby down there. Oh, that one's awesome. It's been a lot of years since we've came here. Feels like it's exactly the same as 20 years ago, which is uh, pretty cool. Octopus? It's an octopus. <laughs> is it? I'm going to call it sea star. Does it have a tube? But it's got no suckies. Yeah, that's true. I think it's a sea star. I think it's a yeah. sea star. What am I looking at? Oh, I yeah, the these. yellow ones. Yeah. So I have fox faces. My so mom used to so call cute. me a fox face. <laughs> 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 we have a good relationship. Oh, look at this little guy showing off. What That's is like, it? Like a spider shrimp or something? Look at that, look at that. Look snake at that. looking thing. Yeah, it's like a oh, yeah. oh, I love it. What is that? <laughs> One of the hardest things now, you know, when I walk into a reptile place or something like that, I know what everything is. And <laughs> now that I'm trying to get into fish, it's like it's so hard because I'm like, what? I've never even seen this before. I should know, you know, if I'm going to try to open up a aquarium. Although I'm learning, I still have a long way to go. Got a lot to go. Remember, where did we see that? Was that in Texas that we saw him? Big eye squirrel, it's gotta be him. It looks like it would be from like a fairy tale. It must be that bannerfish. Gary Bannerfish? Bannerfish. Gary Bannerfish. <laughs> <laughs> I just love that they're doing so much cool stuff with I clowns know. now, you know? I think they have been for a while, we just yeah. didn't know. That's gotta be in every aquarium, I guess. Can we Wonder get it? That's creepy. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually super cool. That's interesting. Maybe I'll get an arowana. It's been a long time since <laughs> I've seen a little tiny yeah. baby arowana. I can put that out of my desk. Yeah, they only grow to the size of your tank. Ten, That's what I gallon. hear. You do have to get a filter though. There's no filter. No. Oh, we have to get a filter. They tell me that you're on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cute. Yeah. Mom, he's YouTube famous. And I'm like, <laughs> okay. Put those in your 10 gallon aquarium. That thing would fit in my tank. <laughs> So it turns out that Lori's actually going to get an arowana for her desk. Now listen, I know it's going to get big. I realize that. But we're building an aquarium, so we'll certainly have plenty of space to move it into. For the next few months, it'll be fine in this little tank. They are cool. I mean, I had one when I was younger, just a little tiny one. But I have to go get a filter for her tank. Is that fashion? <laughs> yeah. Ew. That's it. We'll take it. Thank you so much. Just like old times, every time I go to a pet shop, we end up buying something. So Lori, is this the message that we want to send to people that we should put a big predator fish like an arowana in this little tiny tank? Does that look like a big predator fish to you? One day it will be big. And one day he will live in a large tank. It is true, guys. I just want to tell you that obviously it's fine for right now. It's actually going to do really well in here, but eventually it can maybe go into our you know, 10,000 gallon predator tank that'll be over at the aquarium. So as he gets bigger, he will get a larger enclosure. I I promise you that. No, we won't. That's wet. Oh my god, don't flood it. Ain't you stressing hell out? Come on! <laughs> Acting like I never worked at a pet store. <laughs> Been a while. Here it goes. Thanks. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna wet. You can pour it out? <laughs> All right, I think he's ready. This is definitely an upgrade. And he's alone. Yeah. Much like, much like Drogo, he just needed his own place. Yeah. Happy, I, that's He was kinda, getting beat up in that tank. That's what I kind of feel was, with Hal. I felt bad. Everyone was beating up on this poor little dude. He was yeah. running around like crazy. There he is. <laughs> That's awesome. And no other fish beating him up. So this was definitely a good distraction for the day and one that if you ever need a distraction, go pet shop hopping. It's absolutely amazing. Go buy a fish. Buy a fish. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also, hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you in the next one.